and I are going to bring to life one of the world's first ideas for a submarine. Can we actually get this giant vessel to dive beneath the waves? And more importantly, come back up. Get out, get out. Jeremy and I are going to bring to life a 400-year-old plan for a submarine, the brainchild of an English inventor named William Bourne. As far as we know, it has never been built or tested. Uh, for sure, there's some kind of ballast system inside so you can raise and lower this thing in the water. Right, and some sort of snorkel for air when you're close to the surface. You know what, I think in a sub, air is good. <laughs> That's a bit. Although William Bourne never specified the size of his submarine, we've mocked up our own numbers based on a visual scaling of the original drawing. Our recreation will be about 14 feet long, 6 feet wide, and 7 feet deep. There's a reason that wooden boat building is such a finicky art and takes such craftsmen to pull off. Once we get complex up here, we're going to start tapering narrow strips down to try and really keep a pure form and shape on the submarine. Yeah. We've beamed up the structure in here, which will hopefully keep the sub from collapsing like a tin can. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. Well, a few subtle differences, but I'd say we've captured the essence. Very minor, man. This is William Bourne's 1578 sub, right? One of the first subs, 10 feet high, 16 feet long. Exactly, wrapped in the waterproof membrane like the leather. That's right. We've got our oars in place here to hopefully move us through the water. And the only addition we made, really, was these little windows. And that's just so we don't hit a whale or something, right? It's a nice addition to you, but let's get this thing in the water, man, right? All right, so Jeff and I are in our pontoon boat, which is basically our work platform for the next couple hours. It's full of mild steel, which we've chosen as weight to sink our sub. Each of these sheets weighs 100 pounds, and it's hard work getting them on board. Thousands of pounds later, we're not quite at neutral buoyancy. We're now on the cusp of sinking, the point where our ballast tanks should be able to do most of the work. It's getting a little dark in here. It is getting pretty creepy. There's some weeds out there. I know. Check it out. The farther we go, the more water comes in on top. Well, I got water coming in the window here a little bit too. The pressure's definitely. Well, you can out. feel it on your feet now, right? Uh, That's definitely. Oh, yeah. oh man! All right, all right, all right. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Oh, yeah, it's coming in the Kind of push out the airbags. Go, 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 go. go. All of a sudden, we spring a few fatal leaks, and this thing is going straight to the bottom. No doubt about it, our wooden hull has a few fatal weak spots. Doing this test in deeper water would have been a disaster. But the bottom line is, this thing's on the bottom, watertight, safety, no way, dude. no way. I'd say patent way denied with that one, eh? I agree. Let's hit the beach. Woo. 